Hello everyone, this is my drawing of some of the most common tree types. Uh, so this is going to be like a small tutorial and if you feel like drawing trees, keep on watching. Alright, I'm going to try to squeeze some of the most common tree types on this piece of paper and it's about 9 times 12 inches in size and um, first let me go over some of the materials I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using uh, charcoal pencils. These are woodless charcoal pencils. I'm going to be using a medium one and a soft one. I'm going to use the medium one for drawing branches and trunks and the soft one for leaves. Uh, I'm going to use some blending tools. I'm going to use a tortillion and a brush. And as for erasing and drawing highlights, I'm going to use a pencil eraser and a needle eraser. Okay, let's start. The first tree that I'm going to try to draw is going to be an ash tree. So let's see what we can do. And one of the things that you can see me doing is that I'm occasionally changing the direction uh, of the strokes. I'm ch changing the way I'm holding my pencil because uh, even though I'm making these irregular, almost circular motions, uh, I want to try to make them from different directions so that the leaves don't look too uniform. I want to make it look uh, a little more organic. And it's okay to uh, draw some of these that don't appear connected with the others because uh, there are tons of tiny twigs that we don't really see from the distance. So when you're drawing a tree like I am now, which is seen from the distance, we are not really drawing it as we would see it from up close. We are just trying to represent its general shape and structure. So we don't have to draw every single uh, branch and every single twig and leaf. And I think that in general, when you're trying to learn to draw trees, it helps to either uh, watch them in real life or if you are using a photo reference uh, to zoom it out or to look at it from a distance because then it will be easier for you to understand the shape and the structure of the tree. Otherwise if you get caught up in drawing leaves you may end up uh, with something that doesn't really look uh, very realistic even though you've tried really hard to draw every single detail. So what you'll see me doing now is I'm gonna go over some of these uh, areas one more time with a little bit more pressure uh, to draw some of these darker areas which are receiving less light. This part here where the tr trunk has a little bit of shadow on it is darker but also some parts here and here and naturally it won't end there because I will be moving in with erasers to uh, draw some highlights and refine the shape of the tree even more. Alright, now I'm gonna see if I can soften the texture 
with the brush a little bit but also this will cover some of these white areas and perhaps give the tree a little bit more volume it's kind of similar to when you're drawing a beard or hair when you're drawing portraits because you can't draw every single hair you just use your blending tools to create more volume and more value also but right now our goal is to make these leaves look a little thicker uh, let me see what I can do with a tortillion like I said drawing uh, an occasional leaf or two that seems a little bit detached from the rest of the clump really adds to the realism so you should do that often okay now let me see if I can draw some highlights I've zoomed in on the ash tree which is almost done just a few more highlights a few more leaves here and there I feel like the needed eraser is going to pick up more at this point charcoal isn't always easy to erase when you spread it around with a brush I'm just gonna draw a base here some grass the ash tree. Now let's move on to a poplar. Okay, as you can see, the process is almost the same as with the previous tree. Uh, but, like I said, because we are not trying to draw trees from up close and we can't really see, um, we can't really see uh, the shape of their leaves and branches, what we are trying to do now in order to differentiate between different types of trees, we are trying to create a slightly different overall shape. And you can see that the shape of this poplar is more elongated and that uh, its branches grow differently. Uh, 
Now again I have to go in with a little bit more pressure to create some of these darker areas in between. So that it appears as though there are some clumps of leaves there. I think one of the most important things when drawing trees is not to get hung up on your reference photos and to go with the flow. And when it comes to the texture you can always go back in and add a little bit more texture. Naturally the trees that are closer uh, in, if you're drawing a landscape, the, those that are closer in your scene, closer to the foreground, will have more, co uh, more contrast and more texture, and those uh, in the back will be more blurry and have less uh, texture. So you can smooth them out more with your blending tools, but if you want more detail, or if you want them to appear like they have more detail, you can add, always add a little bit more texture. I'm just going to add another clump here. <clears throat> just because I feel like it. <laughs> the poplar looks decent now. I'm going to do a uh, fir tree. Let me see. Let's make the base here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make it too large. It's going to go, let's say, all the way up to there. The fur has a slightly different shape, so I have to adapt a little bit. Plus, there's usually very little or no grass under the coniferous trees. <laughs> now, let me see. I need to draw some highlights. That's probably close enough. Um, to fix this top a little bit. Okay. I think I might do a palm tree next.
I guess it's simpler with these palm trees. You just draw these big leaves and the trunk and see if I can refine these leaves a little bit. That's probably close enough. try to do a maple tree here so that's next Well, there's my maple tree. As you can tell, this process requires a bit of patience. It can be done faster and it can be simplified. I'm probably going to show uh, the way to draw simpler trees in some other video. But if you want to produce nice textures and make them look, make the trees look a little more detailed, then it takes a little bit of patience. Also, don't forget about the light source. You can see that in this tree, and the light source is coming more from the left side so you can see that this part here is darker and also you must also remember that you need to have these white spaces here and there uh, between the branches so the next one that we're going to draw here is going to be a pine tree I think I'm using slightly different strokes when I'm drawing this pine tree because I'm trying to make them look like uh, clumps of needles and you'll notice that um, they are these strokes are shorter at the top and they get longer as I go uh, lower down the tree. Again, there's usually no grass under coniferous trees, so I'm just going to draw ground. And this reminds me of my childhood when I tried drawing comic books. I remember I used to love drawing coniferous trees. They were my favorites.
That was the pine tree. I think I might do a birch here. Let's see. Maybe a little bit thicker. I'm going to make the trunk a little bit crooked. I don't want to blend this too much. I don't want I don't want to make these uh, leaves appear too dense. The trunk probably could have been a little bit lighter. That should do it. Now for a nice oak tree right here. I want to make uh, these branches a little bit darker because they are here in the shade. And maybe do some texture and shading on the trunk. I'm going to draw some grass here. finished up with some highlights as you can see you can make a very nice dip with a kneaded eraser These are just some tiny details that the eye will pick up eventually, even though they seem insignificant. And that's my oak tree. Now I'm going to change the setting completely and uh, do an acacia tree, the kind that you see in Africa here. Although I'm running out of space a little bit. Hmm. They have those gnarly twisted branches. It's a good thing that when you're drawing trees, uh, you just have to make them uh, resemble the tree type loosely and they look realistic. If somebody asked you to do an exact portrait of a tree, <laughs> that would be a pain. I actually do want rough texture here because there are so many of these small branches so I'm going to smooth it out too much I 
but I need to make these branches darker, those the, the ones that are under the tree, under the leaves, in the shade. That's the acacia tree. Now let's try to squeeze in a willow. like there are uh, clumps of these branches and leaves hanging downwards. Oh, that's about it. Maybe a few branches here. Here are all of the trees. And once again, I used charcoal pencils, and you don't have to use all of the tools I used. You can use similar techniques with other types of pencils. Um, as for the tree types, I know that there are many, many other types of trees that I could have drawn, but this is it for now. Uh, also, keep in mind that the size of these varies because I had to squeeze all of them in on this paper, so they are not drawn, drawn in scale, in proportion to one another. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching.